Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube, tube where, where the, the real house size of crustage. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. What happened to your voice? I don't know. <laughs> We're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. This We're is Ronnie and, and Piper. Piper. Sorry. We're back. Uh, <laughs> kind of. We took a little trip. We did not end up in enough. jail. Um, yeah. Much to our dismay. <laughs> and LaDonna's. Um, she posted on our stitching with the Housewives group yesterday or the day before that somebody wouldn't leave uh, Disney Springs. So they were. This one is kind of hard to see because it only fits on the top row. So let's get this over with first. Oh, get it over with. This is our new month of the tear tray tidbits. The fun didn't stop when we went to Disney. So we had this all prepared. That's why we said we were stitching a lot um, before we went. We had a week ahead. It was kind of weird to have a week ahead mm -hmm. done. <laughs> it was very weird. <laughs> Um, so this is what launched on, oh, the, I'm trying to get it? it down where it shows. There. Oh, fix that chicken. So Zinnia Seeds uh, released on Wednesday. It was actually mm -hmm. like Tuesday night at like 11 o'clock because I could not hang any longer. We were so dog tired. Uh, so Zinnia Seeds went in the Etsy shop and then. That's it. That's it for tier tray tidbits on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can take it down. Mm -hmm. And she's got her summery decor with, um. A little seed packet, chickens, just kind of, she wanted a plant lady mug, but she couldn't find it yet. It's in the cabinet somewhere. Right, she hasn't, <laughs> like, she hasn't done all her Easter stuff yet. You have to do the Easter first. Mm -hmm. um, and then on Friday, we had, where is she? Um, Chicks dig me, but who is she? I just saw her. Okay, you'll find her. It's is underneath she... my iPad. Oh, she's right here. <laughs> On Friday, uh, chicks dig me. For once, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> so it's a really cute bunny. She's got her gingham dress on, holding her two chicks. And then there's a trail of carrots down the side and a little truck with a chick in the back. It's so cute. This was from Hobby Lobby. Mom finished the first tear mm -hmm. tray tidbit mm -hmm. on uh, something like this as well. The, the same thing. Um, yeah. But and it's like perfect for one of these little finishes. The sign is supposed to go like this, I believe. Mm -hmm. So she just has it. I think it says bunny trail. Yeah. On, on and its there's side. another one with flowers in the back that says Easter <coughs> wishes. I have that one too. So I might use that for another upcoming finish. Yesterday was Friday and we got back Thursday night, um, like eight or nine o'clock. We got back and we pack charts mm -hmm. and ship them out to shops yesterday. So um, your shops should be receiving in the next one. Barnyard week. Bakery, Bunny Garden, yep, and the last in the trucking along, which is May. While we were gone, also, uh, Here Comes Peter Cottontail and Bunny Bakery are now available as mm -hmm. PDFs in the Etsy shop, so you can see those there. Uh, I just want to reiterate this again because we get a lot of these questions. When we show you the releases here, we release them to shops first, um, and then a month later, typically, mm -hmm. we release them in the Etsy shop as a PDF. We want to make sure that we're supporting our brick and mortar shops and giving them, especially with how shipping has been delayed and things, we want to make sure that they get a chance to sell those paper copies as well. And then the trucks, the trucking alongs. Um, those, those are a month and a half. Yep, those go 45 days after we ship mm -hmm. in the Etsy shop. Uh, we shipped our last trucking along mm -hmm. month this month, and that was kind of bittersweet. We're excited for the next series. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be talking more about that later in the month. Okay, so while we were gone, we had Here Comes Peter Cottontail, Bunny Bakery. Those are now available as PDFs. We had... Um, Zinnia seeds on Wednesday, and then on Friday, yesterday, we put out uh, Chick Stick Me. Okay, mm -hmm. those are all PDFs available. Okay, uh, we went to Disney World this past week. We absolutely loved it. We plan on, we're not going to talk too much about it. We'll probably mention things here and there, but uh, we plan to do a question and answer. Hopefully, if you have any questions about traveling during the pandemic to mm -hmm. Disney World, I mean, we kind of, we, we went twice now, and... Yes, All so if you have any is... questions, just leave them below and we'll do a separate video about that so that everybody who's not interested in Disney doesn't have to listen to us. In my personal opinion, I think that if you are feeling up to it and you have a trip planned, I say don't cancel it, go. Uh, the longest we waited in line was probably 30 minutes or 40 minutes and I felt safe there. I know that, you know, 
The only thing that, that's fun. really missing is the fireworks, I think. The fireworks. There are little parades and things. Of course, the firework experience mm -hmm. you miss. And there's some things, some pieces of the rides that you had to modify. Like um, Tower of Terror, you don't walk in the room and watch the stormy video anymore. You kind of walk right through that. So if, if it was your first time, um, you're going to miss some of that experience. But I think just being there and getting out of our bubble, I had a lot of fun and I felt really safe. I, Cash wore his mask. He felt safe too. So if you're doing, just go, mm -hmm. just go. All right. We had a bunch of questions last week. Um, Donna, do you have a specific method on how you stitch a chart? Uh, like row by row, blocks of 10, or do you just kind of? I think it usually depends on the chart. Like some sections I might do row by row if it's like a complicated area or I just will stitch. It seems like our things are like motifs where it doesn't have to be row by row. Yes. Dory, what's the info for the Zoom retreat? So that is closed now. That that retreat is being put on by Leela Mae Designs. Um, we didn't we didn't put it, they are the ones who formulated it. So Oh, and on that note, we are doing a meet and greet. Yeah. Tomorrow's heirlooms in Glen Ellen, Illinois, mm -hmm. April 25th. Um, we're doing a meet and greet. We're doing we're designing a specific pattern mm -hmm. for them. And they're doing like uh is it 30 minute blocks? Or 16 minute blocks. I forget They're doing blocks of time. Everybody has to wear a mask. So it's going to be a socially but, yeah, distanced right. so thing. So it's not like everybody gets in no, no, all no, at no. once. No. It's like you get a time slot and that's when you come in. Yep. And um, we'll have a trunk show with all of our designs mm -hmm. and it'll be fun. They're doing like a goodie bag and, and things for you. Mm -hmm. um, so to sign up for that, I'll list their, their phone number below. You have to call them to do a time slot. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure as of today because they started on Thursday. I'm not sure as of today if... They have any more time slots but you can absolutely call them and see if mm -hmm. they can we look forward to meeting you and we're super excited mm -hmm. um kara where did you find a recipe for fried tacos they sound so yummy pioneer woman it's her brother's tacos right is that what they are i, I think they are. yeah space clear what is shiplap um like white typically boards just if you've ever watched fixer upper with joanna and chip Every house that they do, it's yes. just like it. Marsha, Priscilla, do you get your inspiration for your own garden from Disney World? She saw our Epcot. Oh, the flowers were gorgeous. They were gorgeous. And the flower and garden started the last day that we were at the parks, but we didn't make it over there. Every, I think that they we saw... Would you stop? You're so rude. Manners. <laughs> yeah. She She had a hard time without me. When I came home, she just cried for like an like hour. Like whimpered, not just yeah. <laughs> like that. And it was, it was weird. Sad. Yeah. She was sad. Mm -hmm. But they did fine. Yep, she was happy. Ronnie's also. doing better. She's on her antibiotics and they're going to. That's, that's over with. And then um, she's on something to for her, what is it, liver levels? Enzymes, so, liver yeah. enzymes. Daisy had that too before she got her teeth done. So they just put them on medicine and then typically they do another blood draw and it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to shake it back here. It's my chair. Oh, okay. Um, I would say yes, we get some inspiration from what they do. We like seeing what they pair together. Mm -hmm. And we, I mean, we just went through, <laughs> oh, what the, this is, this is, this is. The wisteria there was super pretty mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, we can't um, throw that. No. When you're walking uh, behind, like on the side of the castle and there's that Cheshire cat, a uh, little restaurant, the, there's like wisteria growing up. It's super pretty. Mm -hmm. It was just nice to see flowers. <laughs> yeah, I digress. Um, they had a spot where there was vegetables. No, yeah, <laughs> it's like muddy snow. We ha they had a spot where they had the vegetables mixed, and that's like my favorite mm -hmm. kind of thing, making it functional as well as beautiful. And that's, that's like, like my ornamental thing. cabbages. Oh yeah, she was all over it. Um, Karen, when you finish the five prairie schooler Santas, will you have the complete series? And what vegetables do you grow? Yes, the, I will have all the yearly ones done. But there's other charts that have Santas in them that I have not done. So, I, but the yearly that I will got, be. A I complete. got enough to. <laughs> Our tree's full. <laughs> yeah, I got enough to keep me busy. Anyway, um, I grow tomatoes, green beans that the rabbits eat. I got to do something about that this year because it irritates the crap out of me. Stop saying crap. <laughs> Sorry, it irritates me. <laughs> uh, green beans, tomatoes, uh, lots of herbs, basil, mm -hmm. oregano. Parsley, zucchini, zucchini, cucumbers. Cucumbers are a big thing. 
I tried to grow peas, the rabbits ate those too. I grew carrots and I did, they ate the tops off of them and then like almost to fall, I pulled up what was there because they just had little stubs on the top, but there was carrots and I used them in a pot pie. I grew celery and I also used that in the pot pie. Peppers. Lots of peppers. I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. We went with the living with the land and seeing how they grow things vertically and single stemmed. It just, and just in water. Yeah. The Brussels sprouts, <laughs> the Brussels sprouts just hanging from the, I was amazed. It, I could have ridden that like 17 times just to see that part, but it's super slow moving. So it's just like to get to that <laughs> specific part, you're just like, <laughs> um, okay. Kathleen, uh, I went on Soren for the first time and I went on a uh, flight of passage for the first time. I did not get sick. I absolutely loved it. The smell of the grass when you were in like the, mm -hmm. oh, so awesome. Kathleen, you talked about lights you use. Could you talk more about them or where you get them? Yes. So Chelsea got one of the Stella lights. I'm excited about There's this. There's no plug. I didn't plug it in. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I didn't add it. I And later this month, we're going to be hosting a giveaway for them. Yeah. And we will have a code. This one is super, super, super bright, but it also has um, different... Yeah, dimness. Light, yeah. Plus different tones of the light, like warmer or cooler. cooler. Super good. Our stand-up mm -hmm. light is like this tall, and it is an at light. And it's like an eyesore. I mean, this is not. It's yes. smaller. The head is smaller. The light's brighter. So the light is brighter. So I was comparing it when I was trying to stitch here uh, last week, and this is definitely brighter. Mm -hmm. um, Mom was able to stitch outside a lot uh, on our trip, and she could do it without her glasses. So she had a break for her eyes. She <laughs> liked that. Um, I would stitch every night when I got back to the room. So. Pacific Northwest life. If we get what we wish, how about Priscillified Easter patterns? Normal Easter patterns don't fit my style, but I know yours would. Yep, we can maybe think about that for next year. This year it would be too, because we're working on, you know. Patriotic we, now. We try to get you guys the charts so that you have time to stitch them before that season. Yeah. And if you don't stitch that way, that's fine. You can stitch it, like, if you stitch Americana during Americana time, you'll have the charts and you can stitch them whatever you want. Yeah. But uh, in my thinking, I think that it would be better to have them before so that you can plan. So maybe next year. Linda. Remind uh, us again. <laughs> yes. You don't have to remind us. We'll remember. She's got 17,000 ideas. Um, Monica <laughs> wanted to know what planner app do you use on your iPad and what iPad are you using, Chelsea? So I have, I don't know what it's called. It's a big one. Um, <laughs> Some kind of pro. Yeah. I'm so far removed from technology. So I that's what I used to do for a living. I used to work um, for You just Verizon. told Hunter to get it, didn't you? Yeah. I know. No, I, we went to get it. Me and you went to get it, but he just picked it out. I, okay. want, I told my mom the big one. That's how I describe things now. And that's so embarrassing because I used to know everything about anything and now I don't. Uh, but I have Hunter's that. being a manager right now at Verizon instead of just the assistant manager. Ooh! Hunter's yeah. got his big boy pants on. Yeah, we're um, having lunch with him today. With the manager. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> we want rice balls so bad. We want. We'll go anywhere just to get rice balls. Can I get a rice ball? She said. So I googled rice balls and where we live. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Um, okay, so I don't use a planner app. I need one. So if you guys have recommendations, you can drop yeah. them in there. But well, I use the pencil. We got those really cute Disney apps. Uh, Disney uh, Disney planners. planners that we use. Yes. I don't use it electronically. Um, Linda, are you going to be selling dyed fabric like the pieces you sell for your patterns? No, but no. we we would like to work with someone to get you guys the exact colors. Yes. Or something really, really close. So we, we've just been a little bit busy. So I haven't reached out to the person that I want to reach out to. So we plan on it. as soon as I do that, then we will let you know. The Wisconsin New, are you participating? Are you participating in the Needlework Expo? No, we are not. Have you considered remodeling the basement to make it your headquarters to make it easier for both of you? Um, um no. <laughs> she'd like a new kitchen first. Okay, so <laughs> just kidding. Uh, 
my basement is fully functional for me to finish things. Except for right now when I ha still have half a Christmas in my area and half a Christmas in my... Well, not half of it because most of it's put away. Parker put most of it away for me. But um, I have to get better organized. Like we had to get bins for all of our finishes. So in case we do... Uh, Trunk well, show. we'll have to bring them for, for a trunk show. But in case we do, like, the when they have the regular, what's that called? In Tennessee? Needlework Expo? I don't think it's called that, though. Galleria? No. Anyway, so I have to keep that stuff separate from my other cross stitch that's not ours. And I have a lot of bins going on. A lot of bins. And I told her she has to give me, like, two hours of her time to help me... Get that under control. Jackie, <laughs> what magnets do you use on your projects? Um, Are they in the Etsy shop or Amazon shop? They might be. Okay, well, if not, then they will be by the end of today. Yeah. Lisa, do you, do you have any favorite Pioneer Woman accessories from Walmart? I'm thinking of changing up my kitchen accessories. We love our knives. We I can. use our knives, yes, and the the mixing bowls that go with that last set of dishes that I bought. Chelsea had gotten those first, and I was like, oh, I gotta have those. I Added those to my grocery bowls, pickup. And they were super cute, so I was like, might mm -hmm. as well. There's three of them, and they have like a pourer thing, but they're just like, it's they don't fun. have a handle. Yeah, they're really cute. Brenda, do you start any of your plants indoors? Chelsea did last year. She started a lot, but not this year. Just buying them. Carolina girl, where do you get the bows you use on your projects? I make them. Paula, can I have the SKU number for the tiered tray? I looked on the blog and didn't see it. I think the tag is still on it. There's a lot of stuff on it. I'll get it in a minute. Um, Donna, where can I get Bunny Garden as a PDF? So that one will be available next month mm -hmm. in our Etsy shop. Melissa, please let us know what it's like to go during the pandemic and are you DVC holders? So we'll no, do more not. info on that mm -hmm. in the video. And no, I've looked into it, but I haven't. Mm -mm. Tina, do you throw out last year's dirt from your raised beds? No. You amend the soil with more nutrients. You can mm -hmm. put compost on top. You can put um, things like peat moss, depending on your pH levels. Uh, I, I don't even dump it all out from my flower pots. I'll like take out the top and put new... You know, down to where the roots will go. Dirt is expensive. Right. <laughs> and heavy. It's really expensive. We need to center this a little bit better. I can see my Disney haul. <laughs> um, all right. I didn't get that much. She did. Um, I didn't. She did. Hear them jingling. <laughs> she did. Oh, that's a, a good thing. So I had a charm that was one of the... Um, Disney exclusives. Right. It was Mickey with Walt and my Mickey fell off. So I walked into the Pandora there because you can't get that at any other Pandora. I walked into the Pandora in Hollywood studios and I said, my, and that, we got it like last year. So I said, the Mickey fell off of this. She said, it's fine. I'll change it out for you. And then she was like, and by the way, my buzz is bodiless. He's only yep. got his head on there. So those are the ones that are kind of movable. Mm -hmm. um, I had so Buzz I and Woody and they two broke. charms for my two broken ones. It was amazing. And then she just added a few to the collection. <laughs> <laughs> they had a cute uh, 2021 one that we both got. Mm -hmm. And then we got some others. Some gifties. All right. What do you, what else do we got? Your iPad's going to die. So we're done with questions. Um, oh, we had some previous finishes. finishes. What did I do? Oh, I don't know. What's this one called? Wilhelmina? Plum Street, yeah. Wilhelmina. So this is a bucket. And I just um, finished it round and then added a ruffle of lace and a ruffle of gingham. And then it's on magnets and washers. So it sticks. And this is like, I don't know how I did this because it's like three layers thick. But it's really puffy. But it just sits on the hutch like this, and it's really cute. Love it. I still got to finish my hutch so I can show you. Yeah. Okay. Cracker barrel. This one is. They called. They want their hutch back. Um, in the alphabet things for Prairie Schooler. And I usually have it on a different 
stand, but I bought this little fence piece. It was from a, the, one of those like decor steels or something like that. Okay. And I just leaned it up against there and I think it looks so cute because bunnies and fences are like this, but it's really cute. And that's also on my hutch. And that was in the, you know, where it's like ABCs in one book. From Prairie Schooler. Right. But R is for rabbit. Okay. All right. Whips. My whip was a finish that I can't show you. Okay. Let's see. Sure, no. Um, we, mom designed a little extra. Ah, ah. <laughs> Never mind. I stitched something. I did <laughs> stitch. <laughs> I stitched on the plane. And um, there and on the way back. Okay, what'd you do? Oh, it bent. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Prairie Schooler, this is double double. Okay, so all I got done was the this part of the skeleton and like a little bit more of that in there. This is all one color except what the pumpkin. Um. Just the flames, and then this is like a gray that's coming up out of the pot. Oh. That was the one I got the least on, didn't I? Keep that over there. <laughs> Zinnia seeds down. All right, so I worked on the, what year is this? 2016, 2018, sorry, 2018 Prairie Schooler Santa. I got his whole coat done. That was today? Last night. Oh. So that was good. So all I got left is the snowman and his boots. Boops. But the snowman is big. Cash got to meet the beast uh, from a distance, of course. We did a character meal. So we could see mini mickey goofy pluto he was blown away but he can say the beast and he can say blue shoes my blue shoes we also put him on slinky dog and we put him on mine train and he loved it okay so i gave you a little sneak peek of this if you follow me on instagram or facebook i stitched this on the way there and this is a design that'll be coming out next month sunflowers It's really cute. It is very cute. And if you want to be a detective, just go look at the chalkboards. <laughs> They're going to post it. <laughs> Don't post it. <laughs> All right, I can't show you this, but I'll show you this. This is the special piece for the Leela May retreat. That's a lot to show in there. And then there, there's... Never mind. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, and this week's color on Calvin and Clyde was Barn Door. Oh, Barn Red. What is barn it? Door. Barn Door. Barn Red. <laughs> so there's not all that much of it. There was three, two leaves, the chicken, the collar of the cat, and the scarf on the scarecrow. Bandana. And that was it. And I'm trying to decide. I think next week I'm going to do the black. That'll be a lot. Because that'll be all of this filled in. Mm -hmm. And some of his head. And it'll bring it. I think it'll bring it more to life. Yeah. Or maybe I'll do the gray for the cat. Ooh. That's wrong back. Wrong back. Sorry. Did you see her snatch that? And then. Uh, you worked I on a lot. I think that that's it. But I. I can't wait till I can show you like those two pieces that we can only show you a little bit. Yes. Because they're awesome. In my opinion. In my opinion as well. Okay. So um, yesterday when I got done um, helping Chelsea with the charts, I swung by Home Goods. And she ran to Home Goods. She packed her bag so quickly and ran to Home Goods. <laughs> 
No, I was starving. I wanted something to eat. It was like 1.30 and I hadn't eaten anything since the night before. Lunch. <laughs> before. <laughs> I just had tea. Bunny love. But it's a little cute teapot. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. I haven't seen that. And then they had um, Mama Bunny and Papa Bunny. I thought that that was so cute. It was very cute. And then, since we're on haul, you know that baby that I'm not buying anything else for? That baby. <laughs> Where'd that you baby. get that bag? That's super cute. This is um, little socks and a hat with the ball. So cute. And I had to bring something home from Disney, so... Look New at girl that. on Main Street. It's got little like lace up here on the sleeves. So cute. Super cute. And I got her a little mini rattle. And then I got the, I don't want to unwrap it though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got the 2021 ornament. That is something I forgot to get. Super cute. So, that was it. I got ears a couple of charms, and then that was it. A few charms. <laughs> she needs a new bracelet. I do not. I have lots of room. And I took off two of my bracelets. Didn't get searched. Oh, yeah, I did. I got searched both times. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My so, bag was supposed to be searched. They put it on the thing and then they just gave it back to me. I don't know. It might have been Cash's toothpaste. I accidentally took a whole tube of toothpaste. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. They don't sell like kids' toothpaste. All right. And then I got a haul from Pet Quarter Shop. I ordered more of the white Monaco. Monaco because I really liked the way that the denim blue, which I showed you on that one piece that I couldn't show you the whole thing. I really liked how it dyed on white better than off-white. And I have off-white, but I didn't have any more white. So, I got a bunch she of She got it. a truckload. They backed up the semi. A back of the loss. So, it's looking a little Halloween-y in there. I think <gasps> I <got> more. <laughs> And then this one, I needed needles. Are you sure that's not mine? I ordered a box to here too. You got a box somewhere. Oh, okay. But it had my name on it. Oh. But I did order this though. So, She's a thief. <laughs> no, these are colors that, that yes. are with the sunflowers. And then I needed some more of the Pat's favorite needles. Because all the needles that I had didn't have the gold in the top and I was having a hard time threading them because these have a bigger eye. So if you have trouble threading your needles, buy the Pat's needles. Yep. And this is also from Pat. Or Quarter if you Shop. have uh, issues with your fingers and allergies, these are the only ones that don't hurt my hands. And I got the next in the, the April in the... Sampler of the Months by Country Cottage Needleworks. Great. So this is part of their club. So she got her club delivery. If you remember, I said the first shipment was the floss and the fabric yes. for it and the first pattern. And now we get patterns each yes. month for it. And then the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Frenzy, which is the week's dye works. And it is called the French Rose. And this is going to be a giveaway today. Okay, and then yesterday, I'm downstairs doing laundry. The doorbell rings. I come up here. It's the UPS man. It's the cute UPS man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's just standing there, and I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> and he's like, I had to make sure, like, like, I know him, and he knows my name and everything. He said, I had to make sure you're home. He knows my name, she said. <laughs> Because it says adult signature required. So what is he thinking was in this box? Mess. Thank you, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't speak. She was just like, uh. uh <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Okay, so. It's not anything dirty. It's floss. In case you haven't heard, Classic Colorworks has three new colors. 
This baking tin is used in our spring punch needle design. It is the most awesome gray. So yes, on black, it buy, doesn't look purple. It doesn't look buy blue. this because we're definitely going to be using a lot of it. Okay, and then the chocolate other, mousse, vanilla right. custard, and baking tin are the three new colors right. by Classic, Classic Color, Color Works. Works. So we are very excited to have those. And then they sent us the Each. new Little House charts. There's three new ones. Okay, so this is, uh, it's called Tumbleweed, Legendary Girls, Sit and Stitch. You did Legends twice. And then uh, Fall is in the Air. Super cute. So the, all three charts will be another giveaway. Mm -hmm. We have you already had those? Yep. Okay. And then Kimberly sent me a bunch of her finished pieces. Her Valentine's For finishes. me to finish. What was this one called? Stitches from the Heart? Mm -hmm. And that Beautiful. one was free? Yeah. I Jar of Roses. And she did hers on black instead of like we did the aqua, aqua. fabric. What was this one called? Delivering Roses? Yeah. Be My Valentine. Be My Valentine. And these are all done on um, 20, or I'm sorry, 14 count Ada. Valentine Bakery. And then the February Chuck It Along. Can you hold that with both hands? Because it doesn't look good there. Okay, so I gotta finish all those. And then there's one that you can't see. <laughs> okay, what we, else is on the table? We got some gifts. No, you have a probably haul over there. What's in those boxes? Oh, this is my haul. Uh, so I got some more of the crochet trim because it's super cute. This is by Lori Holt. It's on those wooden spools. I got um, Old Glory Thread Pack because we're going to probably start stitching up patriotic things. So I just want to make sure that I had patriotic floss. Then I just random, um, what is it, restocking my inventory. Pat Carson needles. I have like one needle left to my name, so I needed more needles. I don't know where they've all gone. And one of our baseball tees. So that is my haul. I needed floss, like no other, and needles was a necessary thing. Oh, and one, yes, these are from the bottom. Okay, that's my call. You wanna show those um, quilt patterns over there? Yeah, so what's new at Fat Quarter Shop? We've got um, Fascinating Facets quilt pattern. Whoa. Ooh, sorry, is it okay? Then there is the Prim Stitch Series. This is Pleasant and Gentle. This is by Lori Holt. That's number eight of 12. I need to do some of these for a giveaway. Granita? Granita by Jocelyn. Super pretty. And last but not least, they now have Santa Baby as a standalone pattern. So mm -hmm. this was in the Stitch Quarterly uh, for last year. You can now get it as just the pattern. So we'll have some of those as giveaways as well. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kimberly. And then we received a gift and... Um, These didn't come in time to take with us, but they're so cute. Yes. We're excited to wear them regardless. Oh. Disney masks. One for Cash, one for me, one for Chelsea. This is from Edie. So cute. Super cute. I actually saw somebody with this fabric, um, this one, at the 
park and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so cute. And then they come home and we've got one ourselves. I'm super excited. Thank you so much. And they've got a wire in the nose, which is super helpful for me because I have glasses and mom gets to see firsthand how bad I fogged up my glasses every two let, seconds. Let me tell you how weird your tan lines are when you have <laughs> Yes, they are funny. I had like things under my, I forgot my like under eye concealer and I think that that must have SPF in it and the stuff that Chelsea gave me to use didn't and it, oh my gosh I had the weirdest looking eyes and she took cash to get a cinnamon roll at Gaston's while I was on a ride and uh her mat she, she <laughs> I get up to her and like she didn't like she sat there for like a while and I was like well I mean you could have gone on barnstorm or something she's like i have a problem and i was like what i don't have a mask <laughs> i can't leave this spot <laughs> so i had to run and buy her mask like he got up and walked away cash is playing in the wood chips so maybe he buried it or something i don't know but i usually take it off and put it right in my purse and i don't know because it was windy that day i don't know if it blew and i didn't notice it because i was worried about him throwing the wood chips in the food <laughs> yes. and Oh, gosh. When um, you're sitting down somewhere and eating, you can take off your mask in the park. So that's what they were doing. They were having their cinnamon roll. He All loves right. cinnamon rolls. Believe me, he can eat his weight in a cinnamon roll. Yes. <laughs> cinnamon roll and bubbles. That's all the kid needs. Um, so this was a very sweet and generous gift uh, from... Elaine for a housewarming gift. She gave me a gift card to Target. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your note was so sweet. And then this, um, this was from Georgian, Georgian, I think, Georgian, Georgian. And she sent me a home goods gift card for a housewarming gift. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I still appreciate all of your kind comments and sentiments. Absolutely. It was nice to get away for a little while. Um... I think that's that's what we have. We had giveaways last week. If you, we, we can move on to that. If you have something else to show. Uh, is that... That was... This is from last week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And on with the show. <laughs> uh, radish seeds. So if you want a giveaway, please email us. And then uh, we will send it out to you. Or we will send it over to you if it is a PDF. So the first one was three opportunities to win radish seeds. That goes to Bethany K, Christine Heffernan, and Wendy Room. Wendy with an I. The next one was Bunny Parade, and you get the freebie Bunny Love with that. That goes to ba ba sorry, Barb Palliatos. P-A-L-I-A-T-S-O-S. That's <laughs> completely wrong. I apologize. I don't have the headspace right now to figure that one out. Uh, Jennifer B. Hendricks and Karen Billmare. The last of the PDFs was Top of the Morning, and that goes to Deborah Youngstrom, Stitchy Chris, and Elaine Kal Kaleski. Kaleski. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Then we had a fabulous quilt bundle from Fat Quarter Shop. So this is for the Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee. They're doing a stitch along with um, the Shine On Cross Stitch pattern which looks a lot like the uh, well. quilt. So it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. You get the Quilt Bee book by Bonnie and Camille, the Shine On sampler thread pack. It's Cosmo thread. We've uh, stitched with this, it's awesome. Then you get uh, the tote bag. So this is a full size tote bag and they are thick, they are sturdy. You can carry whatever you need to in this. And you get a um, needle minder and a zipper pull. So that goes, we had five of those. That goes to Scrap and West, Kathy Verge, Amanda Smith, Jane Bancroft, and Sarah Red. Congratulations. And next we had um, stuff from LaDonna. So LaDonna at Sampling mm -hmm. of Memories, samplingofmemories.com. She takes our designs and makes them into stitchy notions. Mm -hmm. So the first one was, I'm not going to take them out of the bags because I don't want to confuse them, was a bundle of, um, I think it was five trucking alongs that you're going to get. And that goes to Dorothy Countryman. Next up was the Holiday Hen and Winter Joy. This goes to Cindy Hoffinger. Hoffliger. Next up was the Christmas Cups. Christmas Cups. 
Christmas cups. Here they are. These go to Marilyn Klingensmith. Then we had a winter theme. And these go to Beth Woods. Next, we had a gingerbread theme, and that goes to Terry Welch. And the last was a patriotic Christmas, and that goes to Brittany Elmer. Awesome. So you're going to get a, a bunch of these to add to your Stitchy collection. So just email me your address, and I can ship those out to you. Then this week, we have some giveaways for you. I think that's pretty common now. <laughs> um, how you enter the giveaway is in the comments below, not through email, not anywhere else. Enter into the giveaway right here. List out the numbers that you're interested in receiving. And then um, answer the question that mom's going to think of right now because I have no idea. Number one would be three opportunities to win the PDF of Zinnia Seeds. Mm -hmm. Number two, <laughs> three opportunities to win Chicks Dig Me. Number three, uh, thank you to Fat Quarter Shop. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five opportunities to win the new uh, 25 count Lugana blackboard, 18 mm -hmm. by 27 inch piece. So this is number three and it's five opportunities to win that. It, this is like, um, it's black like the Monaco that we stitch on. So it's super dark if you're looking for something like that. The chalkboard um, is Ada is a little bit lighter. Um, this is... I think it, for me, it was easy to stitch on. Mm -hmm. It, was it would just you. make your things a little bit bigger. Right. Because it would bigger. be 12 and a half per inch instead of 14. We had six of these. So number three is six opportunities to win these. Sorry. Number seven. Number th four. <laughs> <laughs> number four is going to be French Rose, the Floss Frenzy. Number five is going to be the Little House Needleworks bundle. So, you, so you'll get the Sit and Stitch, the Legendary Girls, and Fall is in the Air Part 1. That was number five. Right? Okay, so we need three of each of those new things that you showed. To do a bundle or, or what? No. Just, oh. Because keep them in that quilt. Oh, okay. Um, so what number is this? That's what I don't know. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Number six is going to be three opportunities to win Granita. Number seven is three opportunities to win Pleasant and Gentle. Number eight is three opportunities to win Fascinating Facets. Okay. Number nine is three opportunities to win uh, Santa Baby. Cost stitch. Number 10 is going to be, be 10. Five. Oh, five. Number 10 is five. <laughs> it's going to be 10. Number five, 10. Just random of our stitchy notions. Right. From LaDonna at Sampling of Memories. Thank you, LaDonna. Yes. And make sure you go visit her shop. They're so cute. Like, these are the cutest that I've ever seen. So, so five random, we'll just pick out of the bag and, and send mm -hmm. you one. Five of those, okay? That was number 10. Yep. And that's it. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, what's no. the question? No. No. Oh, before we forget, uh, <laughs> shops are getting Chelsea's checks. To, we, we got a couple... I told you, back up the truck. Mom just wanted the cute UPS driver again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. <laughs> so Chelsea's checks come in the same colorway as Priscilla's pretty plaids, but they are a smaller check. So it's nice uh, to layer oh. them. <laughs> All right, do you have any layered pieces here? So Zinnia us. Seeds was layered too. Yeah. You can... Behind us, the Peter Cottontail. Peter Cottontail is a really good example of it being layered. Uh, so these are in shops now. Mm -hmm. You can get your yardage or mm -hmm. however you're purchasing it. Um, but these are perfect basics for you to use for all your finishing. Yes, or quilt binding if you're a quilter. Uh, if you're doing our farmhouse uh, quilt pattern, mm -hmm. you could do this with mm -hmm. it instead of Priscilla's Pretty Plaid. Or you could do both. It would be awesome. Woo! So 
these are available now to buy. I mean, they've been on pre-order, but... And these, these right here. And like we've told you before... Don't you dare. There's, <laughs> there's more coming that'll coordinate. So. Woo! What's a question that they're going to answer? Oh. This is Chelsea's checks, if we didn't say. These are the checks. From Chelsea's. Henry Glass Fabrics. Yes. And thank you, Henry Glass, for this. And thank you, Kimberly, for hooking us up. Thank you, Kimberly! Anyway... What's the question they're going to answer? I don't know. Don't you have any ideas? I don't. I came up with last week's. A lot of people have been to Disney. A lot of people haven't. We loved reading them. I, I, I loved it. We stayed at Caribbean Beach. We loved it. All right. We're not talking about that because they got to ask us questions and then we'll have a separate video. Oh. Um, you know what? Tell us what you're cooking for dinner this weekend. Yes. I need a dinner post. We have mm -hmm. out of ideas mm -hmm. for dinners. Yep. We're out. We're out of food. <laughs> well, we're out of food. <laughs> I do want to say we ate at Be, um, Be Our Guest. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Mm -hmm. So good. We might have had to go back because it was so good. It was so good. Okay. So tell us <laughs> tell what us, you're cooking for dinner. this. And if you're not cooking this weekend, tell us your favorite thing to make. Yes. We need ideas. Yeah. Besides rice balls. If you put rice balls in there, don't comment. You're not going <laughs> to win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unless you're going to no, send them. Rice balls aren't that hard to make. We can make them. I know. I just, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go somewhere and then feed me rice balls than make the rice balls. Yeah, but then you're going to complain because they're not as good as the ones we make. No, the last one just tasted like burnt plastic. That is not my fault. <laughs> we think it was the imitation saffron or something like that. It just tasted a little close. I don't understand the use of saffron in rice balls either. But maybe it's because I'm not Italian. <laughs> you are Italian. <laughs> Maybe because I I'm was not. just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. We appreciate you spending the time with us. We didn't have mm -hmm. to pause the video once. That is like a new record. And... Thank you so much for all your posts in our Stitching with Housewives group. And if you want to join, answer the questions because I'm denying lots of people. <laughs> um, the the dogs are Ronnie, Piper, Hunter, Hunter, Calvin. The the baby is Cash. He's not a baby anymore. He's a toddler, but he's still the question is still Cash. Yes. So He's still just my baby. answer the questions, and if I denied you, and if you don't like see the questions pop up, message me on my Priscilla's Facebook page and tell me you know that you don't get the questions or whatever, and I'll let you in because some people have had to do that anyway. And then also in our group, there's no politics, there's no being mean, there's no showing charts, there's no giving anything away, there's no selling anything. End of story. <laughs> when you ask Cash what his name is, he goes, it's me, baby. <laughs> so he's still the baby. Um, okay, so we'll see you next week, I guess. <laughs> no, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine, at Chelsea 346, Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com. Where well, you can see more of right. everything we showed here. Right. And we're excited for you guys to all get your barnyard bakeries and bunny gardens. Yes, and I can't wait to see those. We stitched. can't wait to show you what's coming. And don't forget tomorrow's heirlooms if you're in the Chicagoland area. We'd love to see you in April. Yep, you just call and reserve your spot. It's, it's going to be totally safe. Masks are going to be worn. There's going to be six foot distancing, but we'll be able to take pictures and you know yes. see you and. You can shop in their store. They have a beautiful store. And we can't wait. We can't. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye. No biting. <laughs> <gasps>